Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing well. In today's video, we are going to be looking at an SBC player. Now, this is a dynamic duo player. I'm not going to be doing both the players. We know who these two players are. It's Okocha and Kano. We, uh, Kano is a center forward card and Okocha is a cam card, if I'm not wrong. Yeah. So, center forward Kano and uh, Okocha scam. So, we are going to be doing this card in today's video i don't know if, if you guys want to see uh, a kano uh, what is that player review let me know in the comment section i will try my best to complete it but in today's video we're going to be looking at this card unfortunately i can't show you guys the stats before completing the sbc so i will complete this sbc so in order to complete this sbc you guys have to put in a team of the season or an informed player in your team and have an 88 rated squad so actually let me do this once we do this sbc we'll get the card and then we'll look at the card on paper stats and then we'll put the okacho okocha okacho why i keep pronouncing his name wrong i don't understand we'll put jj in his uh in our team and then we'll see how he's in game in camp position and yeah we'll see how he is i'm actually very excited for this hero card not gonna lie footy heroes are amazing now i need a team of the season I don't have team of the week unfortunately so I'm just gonna put in a team of the season and then try to lowball the rest of the squad with my very very average gold squad so I need an 88 rated team so I don't I actually mind putting everybody here in it like you saw 90 86 85 85 that is the level of my gold fodder right now so yeah, I don't think uh, we will have a lot to work with now specials is where I have to go I feel like I have a bunch of 86 87 I mean I think I have a bunch of 80 88s itself you guys can see I have been grinding specials a lot and I have not used any of these cards in SBC so far I think this is the first time I'm actually having to rely on uh, these cards because I don't know usually I don't shell them out and evolution cards I usually don't sell out evolution cards because evolution takes a long time to complete and it is a struggle so we have completed the objective I'm guessing we'll just get uh, right away please. please yes you guys would have already watched this video no you guys no I think this is the video which is going to be coming out after two days I was supposed to be recording this before the one you're watching right now but I thought okay I'll wait for team 2 but then team 2 got released just like very very recently I guess I think I don't know when this video when this Okocha video is gonna come out so yeah let us hope for the best now 5 star 5 star first off I'm really happy 5 star weak foot 5 star skill move if I see 5 star weak foot that's more than enough for me I don't really care about the skill move part he has uh, preferred foot right foot and then paista weak foot which is his left foot get weak foot as well he has explosive acceleration type high attacking work rate and you can play him at camp striker and right mid so i can play him at striker as well so why would i want to do kanu because okocha has 99 dribbling so i might as well let me know if you guys will complete the dynamic duo will you complete both the players just because it's a dynamic duo i don't know you know but I am happy that the card has really good stats like 91 stamina even though his physical is so bad 91 stamina is uh, pretty decent not gonna lie he has 99 dribbling with 91 reaction other than 91 reaction everything else is pretty much 99 or 98 uh, he has 98 composure he has 99 curve in passing which is also really good 99 free kick accuracy 89 short pass uh, 95 short bar 95 long shots and then 98 acceleration you know 98 acceleration 92 sprint speed 95 pace 90 shooting 90 passing 99 dribbling is this card a really basic card i don't know i am very excited to use this card in game and see how it is but i feel like it's a very very basic uh footies hero card i feel like there are better cards out there uh but yeah it is what it is now play style he has finish shot plus he has incisive pass plus he has trickster plus and uh relentless plus where is that relentless plus yeah he has trivial half player technical he has pinch pass long pass he has chip shot as his normal play styles now since you have seen what and all is there on this card on paper let us actually put him in a squad 
and see how he's going to be in game i'm guessing he's going to be a really decent card to use i don't know if he'll be a first choice player but i pretty sure he's going to be a decent player okay and now we'll bring in okocha into this um, squad now i do have footre as well why would i want to get okocha when i have footre player reviews guys player reviews is a funny thing when you have a lot of players you want to do get new players and review new players and hope you guys find this interesting and somewhat informative at least now okocha gets plus 4 in sprint speed which is actually really good it goes up to uh, 97 pace when you do the calculation i'm guessing yeah 97 pace he gets a bunch of plus 4 in passes uh, short bar goes to 99 you know that's actually nice and then he gets 91 no 93 short pass and uh, 89 long pass now i'll be honest i'm going to be testing out pace shooting and dribbling don't care about passing he has decent short pass and long pass pace shooting and dribbling because you can use him as a striker as well and cam is almost like a false nine position uh, it's a number 10 but kind of a false nine but also you can play him at number nine so i am going to be testing his pair shooting and uh, dribbling we'll see how it is in uh, this game in game right now Ooh, coach is calling for the ball why does he feel like he has too much pace he actually feels like he has too much pace not gonna lie like sometimes i feel like i'm not able to control him is that good he is supposed to be having like 97 pace it does feel like he has a lot of pace he unbalanced shooting why do i do that i could have just took the ball had a good balance and then shot probably would have gone in but shot pass is looking good accuracy not that much He has good dribbling guys, he has good dribbling and good ball control. He has good pace, like pace is really good. After get what happened? He has really good pace guys, like and dribbling as well, 99 dribbling feels like 99 dribbling. Uh, shooting on the other hand, shooting shot par is good. Um, not got a clear shot yet. Like, Like look at that short part is really nice but when it comes to like finishing or uh, when it comes to accuracy mm, I think there are better cards out there. Left foot even with left foot shooting is really good like left foot and right foot shooting is really good like the short part and stuff But for some reason, accuracy and finishing is not that great. Accuracy in a sense, like it is going on goal, but it's not going uh, behind the line. Look at that. I mean, the goal is good as well. But, but so far, 34 minutes you have played. I would say dribbling is really, really good. But I don't know if you guys would want to do this card or, or just are better off with a different card, you know. There are better 95 rated players or even higher rated players that you could have got for a bit low price or you can do evolutions and easily get a normal player to a very very fancy looking card i mean footies bronze glow up is going on evolution right now so you can get a 95 rated card if you guys are looking for 95 rated players and you can uh, you actually you know oh looks really nice like I said, I mean, shooting is really good, pace is really good, dribbling is insane, passing is like decent enough to play with. But for an 88 rated squad, I don't know if it's worth it, you know. Like if, if you guys have put a bunch of promos like me, I don't know why I put a bunch of promos. I literally put a 93 rated team of the season, but I forgot that I put a 93 rated team of the season and I put on a bunch of 88 players. But it is what it is. Like is it worth it is it worth it? when you look at the point of view of just seeing if it's worth it i would say no would i use okocha ahead of any other camps that i have maybe not because he doesn't have good stamina as well so i can't use him in my first team or my starting 11 
just for his dribbling and pace do i want to use him as my substitute not really not really because i do have madison madison is really good after bringing him to 95 he's really good i have footre footre is amazing a really balanced card and then i have uh, i have guller 97 guller he's crazy i mean these cards are really really balanced not just like uh, very good in pace or crazy dribbling these are these are very very well balanced cards so i don't know like is okacha good okacha good i keep saying okacha i don't know why is okacha good he is good i wouldn't say he's not good but is he worth for the price tag not sure not sure but i feel like uh, you guys are better off not completing this sbc i mean dynamic duo if you guys are in need for players please go for the evolution at this point because evolution there are pre evolution there are two free evolution one is um, the footies duo evo you can get two of that and then there's the bronze globe so you can get 395 rated cards you can get all three cam or any you any position you want instead of completing this spc that is what i would say so don't do this spc i don't think is a good choice but it is what it is the player is good but the amount of players you want to put in to get the card and how underwhelming it is in game is a bit i don't know if it's the balance is right or not but yeah i'll see you guys in the next video hope it was informative enough for you guys to make a decision i'll see you guys in the next one the next one most probably will be a fc mobile video so yeah take care bye bye see you guys in the next one